Um, my mom was telling me, if you can't concentrate, just drink something with caffeine because my brain works weird. So I drank a bunch of caffeine before my before the tournament today, and then I made it out of pools. Nice. So it felt good. That's great. It also feels good to see Dakpo on stream some more, still in winner's side, because this is, as we've been probably saying all night, uh, his last hurrah for yeah. as, a, as a DFW member. And uh, he's going to be playing against Oryx. Oryx just beat Burr to get here. We saw that on stream. Mm. I don't know what Dakpo's warpath was. I'll go take a look. Yeah, but he has, uh, of course, been doing well enough to make it here. I was saying earlier how uh, watching Burr versus Oryx kind of reminded me of the Diddy matchup, the way that he's able to oppress Float with Fair and Bear. But uh, Diddy Kong has the added advent of Banana and also a Monkey Flip Kick. Yeah, Banana, man, it's just, it cannot be overstated how good of a tool that thing is. I mean, if, you, if a Diddy Kong is holding a Banana, you are limited to moves that are like frame seven, uh, minus seven on block or better. Yeah, and uh, here's the other thing about it is Burr is the very aggressive player, always holding forward, never going to stop going in. Uh, up against Oryx, who's the big defensive fortress, and Dakpo is not in the same mentality. He is definitely a goes in when the when when it's hot and stays away when it's not. He's uh, he's he's very good at adjusting his game plan to the the situation that he's in. You can see it there. I mean, like, you know, he's not going to get super aggressive, but if you are without your double jumper, if you're in disadvantage, he's been hitting you, and he, all he needs to do is catch a landing to take a stock. He knows what that banana's for. Uh, by the way, uh, because you were curious, Dakpo beat Highland to get here. Oh, nice. Yeah. Okay, I do remember seeing that on stream. He went Pichu. Pichu against Joker, I think, is a really good matchup. Uh, yeah, I would agree. Yeah, I wonder what Joker is supposed to do to recover. Uh, you know, uh, pray. Mm -hmm. You know? Pick sort God of, and pray. Sort of, sort of like Cloud with the Limit, man. You just got to hope that you got Arsen. Okay. Using that monkey flip kick again. Uh, not even utilizing the threat of the command grab, just knowing that Peach likes to float a lot, so that kick is oppressive. Yeah, it, uh, it, covers, a, it covers a lot of space, and especially if Oryx is already committing to something sort of at that medium range zone. Dakpo's got a really good chance, and nice recovery to catch the banana on the way up. Yeah, but contesting Dakpo's recovery, not looking like it's going to happen. He reverses that peanut to catch the landing. Just tosses that banana off stage, does not care about it one bit. Obviously, would have uh, the initial plan was to go off and get it, but with how much Oryx was pressuring him in the corner, decided to abort that plan. Nair reacts to that roll in. Looked like he was going to fake floating further ahead, but drifted back again, caught the Nair, caught Dekko's first stock, but he's sitting at such a high percent already. I, I wonder what he's going to be able to do to bring this back. He's going to be one of those patented peach combos. Mm -hmm. She has plenty of them. That's one of the. I mean, and also, you know, good luck on the side as well. We've got a dot eyes and a stitch face. You know, I wonder if uh, that wasn't a dot eyes. If he would have been able to kick through the turnip. You know what? It's a good question. Okay, able to stuff him out with that back air, continually keeping him in the corner whenever he can. Okay, dash that catches the landing, and Oryx is bringing this almost all the way back. He's got Diddy Kong very close to couple cents. That's what both of these characters do. They just thrive on you oh. being in that disadvantage state. My goodness. That Toad was a big-brained idea, trying to catch Dakpo to toss the banana to catch Oryx's landing. But uh, Dakpo didn't bite. He just held shield. Found a punish afterwards, but Oryx... Wow! Taking the stock! You know, I really, Dakpo. I really, really like that. Using burst movement to get in on the Diddy Kong when they're pulling that banana. Because the one thing you don't want to do in the game, your whole objective is to just wait for Diddy Kong to not have banana. And the moment they go into that corner to get the banana, you know, you have to reset the entire game. So he's that burst oh. movement to take him down. Parry to the up tilt. That'll absolutely be able to take a stock. And now with only 7% built on him, Dakpo can now easily be back in the game. If you, uh, if you get a read on your opponent's... Uh, where they like to throw out their aerials in relation to the ground, you can get so many parries. Mm -hmm. It's one of the big things to watch for in this game. They kick through. Oryx ready for the cross-up, though. Now really building up the damage on Dakpo. Once oh. again with him stuck in the corner. The down throw tries to set up for some stuff where he puts Oryx back in the corner. Can't reliably up throw a double bear to set that up anymore. It also used to be a, a conversion into the down air, which would have been a big steal of a win for Dakpo. Right, still is able to be done in this oh. game, but only with the right DI. And by right, I mean, like, did they DI for you? Yeah. But that time, able to catch Dakpo trying to recover high with the forwarder, had his own banana in his hand. 
That was a nice Z drop banana to or Z drop banana to forward. It as looked well. really stylish, right? Like that yeah. was. I mean, normally you'd expect, and Peach is one of the few characters where this isn't necessarily true because she can always float and then do an aerial, even though she has something in her hand. But most characters, when they have Diddy's banana in hand, you're not worried about their aerial presence, so you can just freely kick the center stage, unless they're proficient with their Z dropping and uh, continual pressure afterwards. Mm -hmm. Normally, they'd have to relinquish Banana. Which is exactly what Diddy Kongs do not want to do. And Dakbo doesn't want to go anywhere else for this game. Right on back to the uh, Omega Palutena's Temple. And uh, just had some, had a nice little tricky setup to the game. Dakbo de generally tends to get off to really hot starts in uh, at the beginning of games. Okay, Dakbo continuing this hot start. Quick 83%, got the banana pressure, almost caught the roll. Oryx has to get out of the corner, fights out with neutral air, gets that Ooh. footstool, and now he's stolen center stage. And surprisingly, you know, if you find that, you may not always get a follow-up off of it, but getting center stage is a gift in and of itself when you're playing against a Diddy Kong. Oh. Whoa! Amazing coverage there from that forwarder. Went so low. Did a great job of catching that monkey clip. Dot eyes again. 53, dude! Oryx puts on damage so fast. Up smash out of shield, tries to catch the float low. Uh, caught Oryx going for like an empty land grab situation. Mm -hmm. Okay, with Dakpo. Finally, you know, Oryx without that jump just had to rely on that air dodge to get him out. Dakpo just needed to get one correct read to take that stock, and so he did. There we go, down air fast falling at the last second to catch Dakpo trying to go for an aggressive aerial. Now Dakpo, just, yeah, again, stuck in the ledge against Peach is a scary place to be, but when you've got that banana pole ready to, you know, have as an option right there, look at how much he can cover with a projectile. Okay, is he dropping the banana? It's cover neutral get up. Here we go. Interesting to see that, that Dakpo is getting so antsy with that banana on ledge. He's not leaving it there. He believes in that intuition of Oryx to know that, you know, you've only got to use so many options to get around that banana. There we go. Moving it makes them think, uh, makes them have to think about the new position that you place the banana as well pretty quickly, where uh, Deco can kind of catch you with some analysis paralysis, and if they just sit there holding ledge, you can jazz rip, down tilt, and reset everything again. Great. Oryx just sitting and holding strong with the shield. Wasn't afraid of the banana. Wasn't afraid of Deco dashing forward afterwards. He shielded the down tilts and got the punish. Man, once again at the ledge. Wow, Dakbo going for a big commit, which he normally doesn't do at the ledge. That's surprising to see. Okay. Dakbo retreating to the ledge again. Finally, again, catching the float with the up smash. Yep. Done, done oh, plenty oh. of that, my god, a bomb. Dude, I'm, I'm getting scared about how this RNG is going to work out against Dakbo. <laughs> Ooh, Nair landing on the shield, tripped on the banana. So Dakbo got center back. Ooh, but he can't pull banana, it's already on the stage. Oryx is between the monkey and the banana. What's he gonna do? There we go. Mm -hmm. All right. Now once again, Dakbo in the corner. Now he's gotta go up against a peach with a banana. We talked about how scary Diddy is with a banana, but with the amount of damage that Oryx has put on with just, you know, single wins in neutral, Got to be scared of that too. Turnips can also be just as scary at this percent because they can set up for those tech chase situations. I love that. Jump out of shield, Z drop banana to catch the ambiguity of the cross up with the downers coming out. Oh my gosh. And he waits for him to come back in. I'm so scared, neighbor. I don't know if I've ever seen Tech Pro just hold a forward smash like that before. No, and you know what? Again, if they, uh, this, is, this is his last time to, to mix up people in the, in the city. Could be his last time in winners too if he is not able to seal out the stock. He probably needs a conversion off the banana. Knows it, but Oryx catches that roll where Dakpo is trying to stay under that active hitbox of the banana. Yeah, and consistently that's been the spacing that Oryx has been going for that ledge trap with that float has been so strong, specifically against Diddy Kong here. He's spacing just at a distance where he's going to be able to catch if he tries to go for that monkey flip. Uh, he can react to neutral get up and fade in for the back air. He can react to the roll and go for the back air. 
and continuously just reset his float if Dakpo is going to just sit there and wait for his action. Mm -hmm. It's really hard for Dakpo to get around that. If he jumps, he's in the air against Peach. He has to land eventually. And Oryx can float out to cover any far monkey flips. Yeah. He just did a really good job of oppressing Dakpo's ability. And he's sitting just outside of range of fair, too, so we can't just get kicked out of the air. Yeah, I mean, and that's.